go. I'll listen roll to see if I hear the music when. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. That sounds nice. Yes, why not? Mm. Good. Although, I, good I use of last words. What happens when? Thank you. Um. Superior results on, yeah. on the listen. An inferior with that. No, superior. Oh, oh. superior. I, I only got the end. So, no, superior. Cool. Um, right. Uh, you absolutely hear the, the, the melting music coming through uh, the cabin next door. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how to give you an unexpected advantage, but maybe something will occur depending on what you want to do next. Maybe this when is I, a nice, pleasant way to wake up after a, a somewhat harrowing <laughs> evening, yes. And when Girl hears the music, I think she's going to make her way quickly down to that cabin. Mm -hmm. Shining star, shining star. Uh, how bloody and disheveled so, is how <laughs> bloody and disheveled is Girl at this time? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Okay, so you, if you want, as a as an advantage, the lovely music waking you up, you can if you want. Decided to do some sort of washing activity. But you know, good. I think I do. I, I do a quick a quick little uh, there, uh, so kind of eager to kind of get down there to Star and find out what, where she was during the evening. So I'm asking, are you all bloody and gory and all the rest of it? No, 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 no. I, I, I've gotten, I've gotten myself a little okay. bit together. All right, excellent. Okay. So it seems like you, you arrive leaning against the door frame. Right? Sounds like looking. You're uh, slightly scary, but um, otherwise, uh, not right. under self. To see this lovely little image of a very closing job, Christabel. This seems. Yeah, I, I'll even say shh. She's trying to sleep. I'm playing a nice soothing song. <laughs> I want to know, uh, did Christabel it happened and has about snaps? Uh, oh. his snaps is fine. The last we saw him, he was uh, seemed to be sleeping exceptionally deeply during our conversation with Adolfo. That's the last I saw. I've had a few things to worry about since then. And so have you. So I don't really... Is he gone? He's not gone. Girl. <laughs> not sleeping in the way that you're thinking. Girl. Very complicated, but do you know the whistle... The whistle that Snaps had. Sure. Remember, we discussed the whistle and how it's very, very, very silly to have somebody possibly ever to have blown it without knowing what it was. Well, call me stupid. Silly stupid. is the word. Silly. I've pieced it all together and in thick with Adolfo and but last night. So the whistle summoned Adolfo. Christabel and I had kind of assumed that by this point. Um, and Adolfo almost got us all killed by messing with the deck crew. Um, given Excellent. to understand you helped one of them too. That was really good of you. Thank you. Kind of keeps oh, the captain from keel hauling us immediately, I imagine. Um, was last night looking for that whistle again, and I blew up. Because he couldn't find it? After seeing all the mayhem that Adolfo left, I just, I just erupted. Unconscious in my room. Right. Okay, well, I guess we all have to fess up. We've all got our limitations and our flaws, and the way things come together, only the gods know. So, <clears throat> I cannot tell a lie, I have your whistle. Okay. 
The idea was actually that we were going to blow it in a controlled circumstance so that we could then kill Adolfo. Uh, granted, I know you chose not to kill him in our conversation last night, and more power to your developing ethical sensibilities, but we kind of thought he had to go after all the problems. So anyway, we never did because a storm hit. So the whistle remains unblown, and maybe, uh, and I have some thoughts about when to blow it next in a controlled circumstance. So if you got mad at Snaps because he had the whistle and might have blown it, I guess that's justified too. You just should know that he happened probably not to have done so. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, that's all right. He probably deserves an ax in him. I mean, seems like a harmless enough. I mean, it's not like he hates all people besides wolflings, right? I mean, he only said he chanted for fun. <laughs> he only said he chanted to, you know, for fun with the cult of the ever changing one. He didn't seem like such a wacko as Adolfo. I'll, um, I think you are of things and i think i missed out on snaps and i think you've missed out a little bit on snaps i'm hearing i'm listening she says shining star says i'm never one to believe i have the whole story so are you saying that he is a dick he refers to who got attacked as prey right yeah that's how adolfo was tag was talking to as you'll recall so uh yeah fine if you axed him more power to you. I regret the mercy that I right. showed. Well, you know, I think your heart was in the right place and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know what? Hey. Do you have any more of that tea? <laughs> I don't know, Ross. Do I, do I have any more of that... Uh... Does he have any more of the drug? Um, let me think. I may have written this down. Or other drugs? Um, I, as far as I'm aware, you only got a um, uh, dose of the um, the drugs that you used on snaps. So, uh, uh, and you used it on him. Ah, uh, bummer. So, oh well. Well, you know what? I'm going to say that we have a nice, fine, sisterly, fun, relaxing time in which all minor lapses of judgment or uh, or, or incomplete information, actions based on incomplete information, we're all alike. We've all done this and that and the other without consulting the others. It happens. Uh, I perhaps being in the front of that line. So who am I to judge? Come on. Hang out with us. Oh, look, Christabel's asleep. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, curl up. You've been up half the night. Listen to some music, okay? Relax. I think that sounds like a wonderful idea for a girl, given the, given the happenings of the evening. Excellent. I say we don't come out of here until the, <laughs> until the ship makes harbor. That would be a plan. Uh, or at least, you know, briefly so for any meals or necessary things. But aside from that, we are going to be model passengers. Okay, uh, so you are uh, in your cabin, happy, uh, keeping a low profile until Captain Yang uh, appears in the doorway holding two shovels. <laughs> oh no. And the shovels are for what? You need to do some digging. And he throws one over to... In the ocean? Or just get on deck. All right, okay. up we go. Come on, Christabel. So, uh, so uh, on deck, sailors busting around the place. Two um, uh, uh, 
forms on deck that you, you might assume were uh, bodies that have been wrapped. Right. Uh, and uh, the ship is at anchor in a small bay next to the island. Oh, no. Uh -oh. I don't like the sound of this. Uh, am I to assume that Easterling customs are to bury their dead in the the ground? Uh, would you like to make a roll about that? No, <laughs> no, I think I get the idea. Okay. Yes. Um, so, uh, Liang uh, says, um, if you don't want to tell me what happened last night, that's fine, but you can certainly help us put our, our shipmates in a proper grave. Uh, absolutely. Uh I'll hand one to girl. Cool. Okay. Unless anyone objects, he basically arranges people into a little boat uh, to go over to the, um, the shoreline. And there's a certain amount of manhandling of uh, poor unfortunate sailors and uh, some digging as the captain watches over you getting, making sure you do it properly. And he has one of the sailors carving out little wooden plaques to go on the top of his grave. So, is anyone interested in the little island that you are now on the shore of? Unless you are. Good. I mean, you can tell us about it. Okay. Well, so there's it's always hunting for plants, but that doesn't seem very reverent. Hmm. So, uh, well, so it's a, it's a. a Relatively small island, but there's a sort of uh, conical hill mountain at one end of it, and uh, trees. You're just sort of above the shoreline and sort of scrubby area where you've been helping out digging. If you were happy so, to do that. So we're on the shore. Mm -hmm. How did we come ashore? In a, in a little boat. On a little boat. Yeah, little. In uh, one little say, boat. Let's say two little boats, which are pulled up on the shore. Uh, there's the captain, uh, a couple of other sailors. And yourself. Are any of the sailors armed? Um, let's say they have knives, but otherwise they're not. We are. Okay. I doubt they'll let us, like, you know, heft our weapons with us, and I'm not inclined to do so anyway. Well, you, you have uh, bludgeoning instruments if you want them at the moment. But, um, what do you have in mind? You and me? Yeah. Um... I'm going to question the captain. Okay. It's just for my own piece. Hmm. Roll plus, that's roll your interrogate, I believe, isn't it? Great. Uh, a great result. Okay. Uh. Okay, that gives you six Ooh. of your yes no questions so i i suppose you're uh digging a hole and fix the yeah. captain with a steely glare i'm just well um, i'm gonna try to play it casually but uh, okay. uh how many questions sorry six six in okay. the course of the conversation so well i can only ask him questions um uh, so I, uh, I guess, um, I'll, uh, I'll start by saying, uh, so you don't believe Shining Star? Uh, uh, he says he's a sailor and he's used to, to tall stories from the sea. You should hear mm -hmm. what those corsairs go on about him. So I've never heard a true word from them. I didn't see any reason well. to believe this weird story about monsters and transformations. And she, uh, she does enough. have a way of uh, she does have a way of seeming less trustworthy than she is. I have to say. Uh, oh well. My trustworthiness is person dependent. I will point that out as well. <laughs> um, I am a relationship oriented person. <laughs> but, yeah, right. 
Did you see this monster? Uh, you said? Unfortunately, no, I didn't. As far as I know, only uh, only girl actually saw the monster. Um, but uh, I mean, uh, how should I put this? So, are we gonna? Is this all? <laughs> Are you marooning us here? <laughs> that yeah, pretty yeah, that's, that's what inquiry so minds and all that. So, <laughs> he can clearly understand from your expression where you're going. Um, okay. And he and he says, "I'm only getting you to dig two graves." Okay. Okay. I will visibly relax. I guess. Um. I don't know what happened to my men. Um, but I know it must have had something to do with you three. Well, but you, I, you know, I know, I know at least one of you tried to help people out. I did agree to ship, ship you over to formally. No one's getting, he says, no one's getting marooned today. Okay. Well, I guess the question is, I feel like I should tell you that if you were of a mind to seek revenge we have ways of making that happen uh, making that possible if you'd rather put this behind us uh, that's fine too I'll think about it. but the, the seas are harsh mistress, harsh mistress. And you know, maybe it's it's best to let let things lie where they are. All right. Well, I'll just keep digging. Okay. Uh, once the holes are deep enough, um, you kind of get the impression that the captain and the other crew with him would like a bit of, of uh, uh, a moment to do the right things for their their shipmates. So maybe if you free and we give a bit of space, that would be okay. Opinion. Plant hunt. Wander up the beach and get involved in the next crazy adventure. <laughs>